C5 Electric really exemplifies the impact of going pro in our region uh, in electric vehicles. They're a smaller shop with one apprenticeship, but they've been through two going pro cycles now. And we've just been able to, to grow their internal expertise around the demand of their industry and create a partnership that goes, we believe, beyond the going pro cycles and really stabilizes the community and equips employees for a brighter future. You know, we're just super excited about Brian, the path that he's on, the impact that he's having on C5 Electric and in our community. He really exemplifies what we would like to see multiplied over and over again in our region. We're excited that he's the recipient of this award and we just cheer him on and C5 Electric. We think this is just a powerful statement of what we could do collectively in partnership to impact a region, to stabilize an employment base and to expand opportunities within the EV sector. Hi, I'm Sean McCann and I'm the state senator for the 19th district, which includes almost all of Kalamazoo County and Antrim Township of Van Buren County. I know that apprenticeship programs are integral for Michigan's workforce because they proactively respond to industry needs and ensure individuals have expertise in emerging technologies. So I'd like to offer my sincere congratulations to Brian Dudasco for receiving the Michigan Works Impact Award for his apprenticeship with C5 Electric. Exemplifying a demand-driven model, C5 Electric provided Brian with both on-the-job training and classroom instruction. And they are both clear examples of success in Michigan's workforce development and education. Congratulations again. Myself and my husband, Dion, own C5 Electric. We started the company a little over three years ago. And my husband worked his way up through an apprenticeship program. He started as an apprentice. He went in as a journeyman. He became a master. And then we started C5. And uh, his vision has always been, he has a teaching spirit. He loves the trades. He loves bringing um, new people into the trades. So through being able to foster a relationship with Michigan Works, we've been able to really uh, grow our apprenticeship program with some different funding opportunities, just really opened a doorway and a pathway for us to uh, really allow Brian to grow and have some exciting things. And as a, as a startup company, that was huge for us um, and exciting for us who can now watch his growth through the apprenticeship as he's getting closer to his journeyman. And it's just been really exciting. We love watching him grow and learn new things. And he's been such an integral part of our team. Michigan Works is instrumental in being able to help a small company take somebody from who's chosen to totally step into a new career field. I mean, that's scary in itself. There's anxiety. There's a lot of like growth that happens. And for an employer to take on a brand new apprentice is also scary and new and a financial uh, expenditure. So that partnership and then allowing that to grow and nurture and kind of like walk through the newness of having an apprentice and what that looked like has been huge. Michigan Works is there, they're available for help, um, whether it was working with the Department of Labor, whether it was looking for funding opportunities, whether it was help for um, educational opportunities. The ladies at Michigan Works are always like, hey, reach out if you have a question, if we can help with this. We're getting into electric vehicles. So uh, their help in finding different uh, opportunities there has been integral as well. It's been amazing. I uh, graduated high school, went to college, tried a couple different things and just really didn't find anything that went well for me. Um, at that time, I wasn't the best student and college really wasn't the best fit for me, but I was trying to make it work because that's what everyone told you when you graduate high school that you kind of had to go to college. Uh, and so after that, I left school, worked a few different full-time jobs and got a career started in sales that I was good at, but I didn't really enjoy it. Uh, and I bounced around to a couple different uh, cell phone companies uh, over about 10 to 12 years. And uh, Dion, who works uh, obviously as our owner here at C5, uh, has been a family friend for a long time and had reached out a couple times being like, hey, I know you know you switched again. Are you looking to you know do electrician work? We could use an apprentice at the company I'm working with in Grand Rapids and I'd kind of gone back and forth and it was never really the best time to jump. Um, and when I got married in the end of 2021, uh, he had gone off on his own and had reached out to me again and we were always talking and that was always in the back of my mind as something that I kind of wanted to do. 
and we talked in February after our wedding and I said, you know what, hey, let's uh, let's go for it. So my wife and I decided it was a good time and I made the switch in March of 2021. So it'll be two years next week. Yeah, Michigan Works has been uh, great to, to help out. They've been a resource that we've used a couple times uh, just to kind of help the process get started. There's a lot of um, backend things that I don't even see on a daily basis that Amy and Dion have to deal with as far as apprenticeship and all of the, the things that go along with that licensing and, and all that stuff. Um, and there's also, you know, grants and different programs and stuff that they have available. So one of the, the really nice things that has been immensely helpful for me is Amy was able to research and find with the help of Michigan Works a grant for tools. Uh, obviously getting started and coming from sales, I didn't have any hand tools except for a few random things at home. And so the, the grant that I was able to get with Michigan Works has been a huge blessing because there's a lot of different tools that we use on a daily basis. Some that I use every single day and some that I may only use once a week, but having uh, a budget to get started from that uh, has been really nice and helpful and made my transition to the career a whole lot easier and a whole lot faster and more manageable as someone. Uh, who's coming in with you know, no tools for the trade and obviously needing a lot. Yeah, so I have uh, roughly two years, two and a half years left on the apprenticeship program. Michigan is four years. It's one of the longer ones in the country. Uh, some of the stiffest regulations, which is great because if we were to move elsewhere around the country, uh, it's a lot easier for me to transition into a different role. So journeyman would be the next step to two and a half years. Uh, and then eventually I would like to get my master's. Uh, I love outdoors and obviously Michigan has a lot of great opportunities outdoors and my wife and I would love to move farther north at some point, Petoskey, Traverse City, somewhere up there and eventually down the road I would like to you know, open up and go out for uh, go on my own business uh, somewhere up there. So we'll see.